Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in and today I will show you how to create this icon of a coffee mug in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. So the first thing we are going to create is a square. Let's go to the rectangle tool and then shift and click and drag to create a square. Now we need to add anchor points. So let's select the square, object, path, add anchor points. And now we need to round the bottom corners of this square. So let's select the square, press A to enter the direct selection tool, and then shift click these two to select them and click and drag to create the mug shape. Now let's create the handle. So we need to go to round the rectangle tool, create a round rectangle, Make it as round as possible. Then go to direct selection tool by pressing A. And select the leftmost anchor point. Like so. And hit backspace to delete. Cool. So now we need to make this a little bit narrower. So I'm again going to select these two edges with the direct selection tool. And use my arrows to position these properly. Next step would be attaching it to the mug. So let's do that. And now obviously the bottom one needs to be longer. And first of all, we need to turn off the fill for both of these shapes because you can see that it creates, um, it hides the line. We don't want that. So let's select them both, select the fill and turn it off. I can see that it actually it doesn't hide anything. What you need to do now is extend the bottom line. So direct selection tool again, click and then shift click and drag until it intersects the mug. Looks good, I think. Now we need to create a line to symbolize the plate. Actually, let's first make this a little bit more narrower. Good. So the plate we will create by going to the line segment tool and then click and drag. Very simple. Let's align this, uh, let's center this line horizontally to this mug. Select them both by shift clicking, then click this mug again and align it like so. Now we need to create the vapor or the smoke that comes from the hot coffee. So again, we will utilize the line segment tool then go to object, path, add anchor points. And once again, actually, object, path, add anchor points. And then delete the rightmost or the leftmost one. Doesn't matter. Good. Now let's make it look like a zigzag line. So I'm going to go to direct selection tool, pressing A, selecting this anchor point and this anchor point and move them upwards like so and now we need to round these corners to make this smooth like a smooth transition select press a select this one and drag until we see a red color brilliant now we need to delete the again the rightmost and the leftmost one anchor point so again selection uh, direct selection tool Click and drag, delete, click and drag, delete. Good. And that is our vapor shape, our symbol. Let's move it above the mug. Multiply it by, I'm, I'm holding down my Alt key while dragging the, the shape to make a copy. We need to make them evenly distributed. 
So let's go to align, select, make sure that align to selection is selected and then click this under distribute spacing and then center it against the mug. So again, shift click, again, center. And let's increase the thickness of those lines. So select all of them with the selection tool and type in 25. We need to create around joints and round edges. Stroke, round join, round cap. And position the, the plate however we want. Make some adjustments as we see fit. I selected the whole, the, all the objects and then pressed Command or Control G to make them grouped. You can also go to, I think, um, Object, Group or Ungroup when it's already a group. Okay, so let's center it on the page. Move it a little bit upwards. You see, that's the point. Sometimes when you align something perfectly, it doesn't look as, as if it, it's aligned perfectly. If I align this, center it horizontally or vertically, uh, you can see that a little bit looks as if it was moved downwards from the center, which is not the case uh, geometrically, but it looks that way. So we need to compensate for that by moving it upwards a little bit. That's something you do very often when uh, doing design. Double click and click this this mark. Set the fill to white. Escape. And then rectangle tool to create the background. Make it yellow as usual. Remove the stroke. FF, FF, zero, zero. And then object, arrange, send to back. That's it. We are done here. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.